There's going to be an Eastern European chick naked in your house. And you're not going to do anything about that? What am I going to do, huh? Broadcast her over the internet? Ooh. And now, now, now. Mm, that's fun. Talk and rock. The Big Dumb Fun Show. Broadcasting over the internet, we're the Big Dumb Fun Show. You can find us online at BigDumbFunShow.com. That's good to know. We're also, of course, on the MySpace. Yeah, that's true. We're still there. We're on the Facebook, the YouTube, the Twitter, eventfulreverbnation.com slash BigDumbFunShow. I'm still looking for uh, the new beta out there. You know, there's got to be something out there that's better than Facebook. It's it's going to whip all their asses. You don't think it's Google Plus? Not a chance in hell. In fact, uh, I read uh, something uh, over the weekend. Of course, everybody will have an article. I don't trust anything that I read on the internet. Uh, Even obituaries. I don't buy it. Uh, But, you know, they were talking about Google Plus and how... Uh, it is not really a social network. Uh, that they're not uh, they're gauging not trying the social to be network. a social. They're, they're just trying to get as much information on you as possible. <laughs> aren't they? Uh, they're they're starting to launch their gaming applications. Yeah, they, they got that going on. I mean, uh, when Farmville comes to Google Plus, then uh, my friend, I will take it seriously. Then the, and your mom will too. Absolutely, she will. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get now. You know about the big hurricane that happened? Uh, the 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 catastrophic. Uh, winds and water that flew over the East Coast. Uh, we had to get uh, uh, someone's uh, perspective on it. Hurricane, um, Hurricane Irene, I believe they called it. It was a uh, downgraded by the time it reached New York City to a tropical storm. That's right. We, but uh, nonetheless, it kind of tore through the East Coast, up just a, like a line up the East Coast. Huge-looking storm by satellite. Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, ankle-deep water everywhere that you look. Uh, the the place it was just devastating. Uh, I uh, solicited a uh, uh, on Craigslist to, to try to find a qualified meteorologist to join us on the show periodically tonight to g- give us an update on the recovery efforts. And I believe we found that uh, he calls himself uh, Dick Stickshift, and uh, I think we hello. might have him on the air right now. Uh, hello, uh, Dick, you're on the air. Try that again. Hello, Dick, you're on the air. Hi, nice to hear from you. Oh, okay, now you you're a, a licensed. Uh, meteorologist, you're you're in the uh, the New York area. Uh, give us a firsthand account of uh, of what you what you've been dealing with over the the last week or, or so with, with this uh, Irene. Let me tell you, sir, it's been a harrowing ordeal. Ordeal. The waters got so high they were in some places tens of centimeters high. Oh my God. How were people getting around? Yeah, yeah. The, the the public transit was down because of all of the the rainwater that has been flooding in. Uh, how how did you manage to survive? I, I thought you were, you were supposed to be evacuating. I uh, own a set of rowboats. You were doing the weather from ro- a rowboat? No, rowboats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> rowboats that act as boots. I, I guess that's interesting. And Wait, I, you mean you're, I, they were their boots like little rowboats? Yeah, little rowboats. Yeah, like rowboats. Walk on water, Jesus style. It's, well, it, it's a little harder than that. Okay, all right. Well, I, I, I applaud you for your ingenuity. Uh, how are the uh, uh, the relief efforts? Now, I, I did hear from the, the governor of New Jersey, there uh, there is billions upon billions of dollars uh, that, that are going to be required to, to fix this place. Uh, when it comes to relief, uh, what do you think it's going to take to get, uh, to, get uh, you know, to get this country moving again? Well, just on the heels of recovery from, uh, from the last disaster, Oh, you mean like uh, uh, like Katrina? You know, like something like that. No, no, the earthquake. Oh. Uh, we we had just uh, we had just put our patio Sorry. furniture back together, <laughs> and uh, on the heels of that comes this hurricane. Yeah. Let me tell you, it's going to be a long road to recovery, but we will stand That's right. this furniture back up. That's right. <laughs> That that is correct. Well, I mean, it, it's it's good to know that there's somebody out there that's that's looking out for the little guy. So what you're saying is there's literally billions of dollars in damage to people's patio furniture. It is mostly going to IKEA. Okay, so <laughs> IKEA is really if you were to give stock, stock the trip, yeah, efforts. they're gonna they're gonna make sure that everyone gets uh, cushions. Uh, now, what what do you think would be wor- like? The, is the wicker is the wicker furniture uh, failing right now? Well, where, where do we need to focus our efforts on it? Do we need to send in the FEMA trailers? Well, I warned people for weeks that they need to rust oleum their furniture, otherwise it's going to get soaked. I understand. Yeah, because and then uh, now, no. Yeah, no, I I completely agree. Uh, if people don't heed these warnings, uh, I mean, good no. luck, good luck to you. You know. Well, in the face of having I, a, I, 
their furniture blown away. Rust-Oleum doesn't do much. No, no, no. But they should have at least set like. I, a, I meant that that weather seal stuff with the seal on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you know, at least they should have put like a like a, a small coaster or something on top of the table, Gunner, to kind of weigh them weigh down. down. Where they're really going to. Well, I hear something. I said, so they left their patio furniture outdoors when they were mm-hmm. warned. I mean, you were on the news, right? You were giving weather reports. You could see this. This, uh, oh, this guy was eyewitness. Yeah, tornado, hurricane, yeah, I, weather disaster coming I, in, and no one thought to put their furniture in a garage. No. I saw chairs flying back and forth down the, the alleyways, just chairs everywhere. Well, you, you sir, are, are a brave man, and uh, we want to stay on the story. Uh, we're going to check back in with you later tonight to figure out, uh, you know, what's going on. And if there's anything we can help, uh, we want, if we could pledge anything or, you know, get the word out, I'm sure Red Cross uh, um, taking donations uh, right now in, in the relief efforts. Paper towels. <laughs> lots, lots of paper towels. 10-4. Uh, I got a brownie man that I know, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send him up there uh, with, a, with a small truckload. Uh, well, yeah, he drives an escort. Oh. So. I'll let you know if anything else crazy happens. All right, great. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, meteorologist Dick Stickshift uh, joining us on the show tonight. Uh, licensed, I'm sure, right? He's got to be. You said he was licensed in meteorologist. I don't know what what that entails. I don't know how you get your I license. I mean, I've never been to the Meteorological License Bureau to get my license. Gnark, this is, this is serious have, like, stuff. A, book, a booklet that you'd have to... No, no, no. This is, this is absolutely serious. I think you're making light of the situation. I, this has been wall-to-wall coverage. I, I am trying to make a little light of the situation. I mean, I realize there's billions of dollars in damage. Billions! That's what Chris Christie says. In New Jersey, there were probably... Billions upon billions of dollars. There was probably literally billions of dollars of damage before the this, you know, storm Gunner, in, in I, New Jersey. You don't understand. Did you watch any of the lines? You don't have cable. You don't understand the depth of this. They were outside of a, a beach, right? I get, I get Google News, okay. They were, out, they were at a beach. I, I a check beach in front. online. How do you think normally a beachfront would look like? Just, just describe your average sandy, beachfront. Sandy, a sun coming up, a beautiful sunset. Some, some night. wind maybe coming through, the some waves, tide coming you know, through. It was exactly like feet. that. It was exactly like that. Okay, so well, don't make light of the situation. You know, hurricane actually, Irene is going to go down as I've probably one of the biggest, before. the biggest catastrophes of our generation. In Raleigh, North Carolina, I I lived through a hurricane. Okay, did you? I did. Fall of 1996. Yeah. I was the road manager on a college tour. We did a show. Yeah. Outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. Was it as bad as Irene? I don't think so. It was big. It was big. I mean, it nearly stopped the pizza delivery guy from delivering our pizzas after the show. Well, they were just I late. Mean, the power was out. They weren't sure if they could even yeah. deliver a pizza. Oh God, that sounds like a, a harrowing ordeal. Uh, coming up, we got the useless news plus a special VMA version of Nick Twit and Adam Evolving next on the Big Dumb Here's Fun Show. Weekend ride by Credulous. Yeah.